First on Five. Breaking news tonight. News 5 has learned that criminal investigations have been opened against the governor of Alabama. This after allegations of an affair with a chief advisor. News 5's Alan Carter joins us now in our newsroom with the latest. Alan? And Mel, this could spell some very big legal trouble for the governor. We've been able to confirm at least two active investigations against the governor and Rebecca Mason. One from the state, another from federal authorities. A source close to the investigations confirmed to News 5 that the attorney general and U.S. Attorney's Office are conducting interviews. The U.S. Attorney is looking into possible misuse of state resources and campaign money in regards to the governor and Rebecca's relationship. Meanwhile, the state is interested in possible involvement Bitley had in the criminal case against Mike Hubbard and possibly trying to affect that case. Of course, this is all developing and we'll continue to follow it tonight and have more at 10 o'clock. For now, live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5. And thank you, Alan. More recordings and more problems for Alabama Governor Robert Bentley. Last week's sexually explicit excerpts were released of a recording between the governor and his top political advisor. Still, the governor denied a physical relationship. Now the full recording is out, and it presents more credibility problems for Robert Bentley. Here's News 5's Peter Albrecht. Hey, I love you. I love you, dude. 14 times in 43 minutes, Robert Bentley tells Rebecca Mason he loves her. The complete recorded phone conversation from August 2014, released today by the website Yellowhammer. I go through a lot, uh, and you go through a lot. Uh, uh, we both go through a lot, but we find to, to be together. Baby, I love you, okay? I love you, and, and, and I, I, I know... Last week, the most sexually explicit moments of the recordings were released, but today's full recording does reference the governor's underwear as he relays a story about someone showing up at his beach condo too early one day. He came this morning before I had my clothes on. He just got to see my boxer shorts. No, he, hey, I, I, hey, you say those. The governor also seemed put off by the demands of his official schedule getting in the way of his time with Mason. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that time isn't your time, and I, that, that's the time that I will spend with Rebecca, okay? Just five days ago, Bentley denied a physical relationship with Mason and seemed perplexed by reporters' questions. What do you mean a romantic relationship? Do you love Mrs. Mason? But the recording seemed to paint a picture of a man madly in love. I love you, and uh, I, I do. And, uh, I don't, you know, I just, I, I worry about sometimes I love you so much, I, I worry about, I worry, I worry about loving you so much. I do. I, I, I do. I, you know, I, I, I feel like I, all the time, all, all the time I'm thinking, how can, how can, how can I contact her? How can, how can I, how can I call her? How can I text her? How can I be in contact with her? How, how can, we, how can we do this? And it's a relationship that continues, according to former ALEA director Spencer Collier. Less than a month ago, the governor told me that he was still madly in love with Rebecca Mason, but he was a man of honor and uh, wouldn't ask her to divorce her husband. Now, the governor was divorced last summer, Mel, just about a year after this recording was made. And, Peter, I understand the former first lady made the recordings. That's right. She was suspicious, so she left her cell phone on the table when she went out for a walk on the beach when she and the governor were at their uh, condo down at the Gulf, and that's when this conversation took place. Mm. Thank you very much, Pete. The governor made his first public appearance since the scandal broke. Governor Bentley visited a medical clinic in Centerville in Bibb County. Rebecca Mason was nowhere to be seen. Surprisingly, he took questions from reporters. Governor Bentley was asked if he had a physical relationship with Rebecca Mason and whether he planned to resign from office. We have made our statement uh, last week, and uh, that's all we're going to say about that. Do you plan to resign at this point? No. Excuse me? I plan to serve the people of Alabama just like I promised I would do. Several state officials have called for Governor Bentley's resignation, including the man responsible for exposing the scandal. Spencer Collier, Collier was the former secretary of ALEA before being fired by Bentley last week.